this partnership, I mean, this is, you know, monumental in size. There's never been an engineering project, a technical project of this complexity and this scale um, ever. And it really just says that AI uh, was in the early adopter phase in the labs, and finally it's breaking out into just about every single industry, every single use case we can imagine. This is the first 10 gigawatts. It's surely, it sounds like an enormous, uh, enormous undertaking, but there's no question that AI is transformational for every industry, but the important thing is the AI infrastructure will be everywhere and it will power computing experiences for everyone every day. And it's gonna be just every The AI revolution just entered a brand new phase and at the center of it is none other than NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang. In a recent interview, Huang laid out a vision that feels less like prediction and more like inevitability. He called this moment the dawn of accelerated computing declaring that very soon every single word, every image, every video we experience will be touched by AI. That's not hyperbole. It's a roadmap for where trillions of dollars in capital are about to flow. What's driving this urgency? The historic partnership between NVIDIA and OpenAI, a deal worth up to $100 billion tied to the deployment of 10 gigawatts of NVIDIA systems. To put it bluntly, this is the largest engineering project of its kind in history an AI infrastructure build out on a scale the world has never seen. The first wave will begin in 2026 and it's set to trigger a global scramble for data centers, energy capacity, and networking muscle. And this comes at a fascinating macro moment. Inflation is cooling, interest rates are expected to ease, and equity markets are once again rewarding companies with durable growth. While Nvidia commands the spotlight, this deal ensures the ripple effects extend far beyond a single ticker. Entire ecosystems, cloud operators, networking leaders, and server integrators are now positioned to ride this tidal wave of AI demand. In today's video, we're going to look at three US public stocks beyond NVIDIA, companies that aren't just passengers but critical enablers of this next era. If Huang is right, and every digital interaction will soon be shaped by AI, then these firms stand to capture massive upside as the backbone of this transformation. Let's begin with Supermicro Computer Inc., ticker symbol SMCI, a company that may not be a household name, but it has quietly become one of the most critical players in the AI revolution. If NVIDIA is the brain behind artificial intelligence, SMCI is the body. It builds the high-performance servers and racks that house those powerful GPUs and make large-scale AI possible. Without SMCI systems, the cutting-edge processors coming out of NVIDIA and AMD would have nowhere to live, no cooling, no power management, and no optimized environment to unleash their full potential. That makes SMCI an indispensable enabler of the data center boom that Jensen Huang himself has described as the largest engineering project in history. The company's business is firing on all cylinders. In its latest quarter, SMCI reported nearly 50% revenue growth and guided to an even bigger year ahead, with expectations of $33 billion in sales. That growth is being powered by two catalysts that could redefine its future. The first is its Data Center Building Block Solutions, or DCBBS. Instead of selling just individual servers, SMCI now offers entire pre-assembled racks, fully equipped with networking, cooling, and power, essentially a plug-and-play data center. This radically shortens the time it takes for customers like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google to deploy new AI capacity, giving SMCI a powerful edge in a market where speed is everything. The second catalyst is NVIDIA's Blackwell GPU cycle, which promises a leap in AI performance. SMCI has already begun shipping racks and servers designed specifically for Blackwell, cementing its reputation as the fastest company to deploy new NVIDIA technology at scale. As demand for these chips surges, SMCI will be one of the first in line to benefit. Looking ahead, the opportunity is enormous. Every hyperscaler, every AI-driven enterprise needs exactly what SMCI delivers, high-performance infrastructure ready to go. With its execution, product innovation, and partnerships SMCI is positioned to be one of the biggest beneficiaries of the multi-trillion dollar AI build-out now underway. Next up is Arista Networks Incorporated, ticker symbol ANET, 
a company that may not command the same headlines as NVIDIA, but is absolutely essential to the AI build-out that Jensen Huang described. If SMCI builds the servers, Arista provides the networking muscle that makes those servers communicate at lightning speed. This isn't a niche role, it's the foundation of the modern data center, and the demand story here is accelerating faster than many expected. The real spark came from Oracle's recent earnings, where the company shocked Wall Street with a backlog surge of over 350% to a record-breaking $455 billion. Oracle didn't just promise more business. It lifted its CAPEX outlook for 2026 by 40% to $35 billion, signaling an unprecedented expansion of its data center footprint. Why does this matter for Arista? Because Oracle is now officially one of Arista's Cloud Titan customers, joining Microsoft and Meta. These hyperscalers collectively account for a huge share of global AI compute spending, and Oracle's new commitments could translate into at least $1 billion in incremental revenue for Arista over the next 15 months. That's a massive tailwind not yet fully baked into analyst projections. But Oracle is only part of the story. Across the board, hyperscalers are racing to adopt next-generation networking standards, shifting from 800G Ethernet switches today to 1.6T technology next year. This cycle plays directly into Arista's strength. The company is the market leader in high-speed Ethernet switching, and its customers are demanding faster, more power-efficient solutions to keep pace with the explosion of GPUs in their racks. Arista's management has already flagged accelerating adoption trends, reinforcing that the cycle is only getting stronger. In the bigger picture, as AI data centers scale from gigawatts to tens of gigawatts, the bottleneck won't just be chips, it will be networking capacity. That's where Arista thrives. With hyperscaler spending surging, technology cycles compressing, and AI adoption broadening, Arista Networks looks positioned to ride one of the most powerful infrastructure waves in the market today. Finally, let's talk about Broadcom Inc., ticker symbol AVGO, a company that has quietly positioned itself as one of the most powerful forces in AI infrastructure. While NVIDIA dominates the spotlight, Broadcom has built a diversified empire that straddles both semiconductors and enterprise software, giving it a unique resilience and growth profile in this new era of accelerated computing. What makes Broadcom compelling is that it doesn't rely on just one business line. It is simultaneously a leader in networking chips, a rising force in custom silicon, and now a software heavyweight thanks to its acquisition of VMware. On the semiconductor side, Broadcom is becoming the go-to provider of custom application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, for hyperscalers like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. These chips are designed to be more power-efficient and cost-effective for certain workloads than NVIDIA's GPUs, and they're gaining traction as cloud providers look to tailor their AI infrastructure. The ASIC market itself is projected to nearly double by 2032 while the broader AI market is expected to grow nearly ninefold in the same period. This gives Broadcom enormous runway to keep winning business as customers diversify beyond general-purpose GPUs and into specialized silicon. But Broadcom isn't just about hardware. Its software segment has exploded since it absorbed VMware, delivering recurring high-margin revenue that has consistently beaten expectations. In fact, Quarterly software sales have grown at double-digit clips throughout 2024 and 2025, while gross margins have expanded above 78%. This dual-engine model of semiconductors and software means Broadcom benefits directly from the AI infrastructure boom while also enjoying steady income that cushions it against cycles. In the bigger picture, as AI infrastructure scales to unprecedented levels, the demand for high-speed networking, custom silicon, and stable enterprise platforms only intensifies. Broadcom is one of the rare players that checks all three boxes. With hyperscalers ramping investment and AI shifting from training into large-scale deployment, Broadcom is emerging as a critical enabler of this next phase of growth, and a stock investors cannot afford to overlook in the AI ecosystem.